All right, so welcome to our long-term reliability lab. These are actually special chambers specifically designed for testing batteries safely. You can see they have fire suppression built into them so that we can test batteries like lithium ion, lithium ion phosphate batteries. Um, this is actually running a temperature cycle test right now. You can actually see from the profile we're cycling temperature up and down. We do two different types of tests, uh, damp heats, where we uh, run the units at 85% humidity and 85 degrees Celsius, and temperature cycling, where we oscillate uh, to the temperature extremes of a battery. For batteries in particular, we actually have to do two different types of temperature cycle tests, one with the battery integrated into the unit, um, but with that, we can't cycle as far because there's limitations on how hot or cold a battery chemistry can get. Uh, in order to actually really exercise our components and, and try to stress them out as much as possible, we actually do a second test where the battery packs are removed and, t and kept outside of the chamber. And inside the chamber, um, we can actually open this up a little bit, we test all the guts of the battery. So this contains the electronics, the inverters, the battery management system, and that allows us to stress this system out farther. We can actually take this, take this to the extremes of the electronics. So this actually gets tested to mi minus 40 degrees C all the way up to 85 degrees C, which for all Americans, it's, that's about 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So temperatures that don't even exist on the planet, we test our electronics to. Um, so let's work our way to the other parts of the lab where we can actually see some other components being te tested. We'll work our way back. Now, as we do that, you can see there's actually a lot of other equipment in this lab. We have things like uh, grid emulators, solar emulators, and a variety of other equipment that we actually have to do for testing each individual component because we have to basically build a system around that component to, base the, to test it in the environment that component's actually going to be in. This chamber right here is actually running uh, damp heat on our gateways. We have another chamber that's in between tests right now that we can actually take a look inside. So here we have a chamber um, that's currently open, so it's in the middle of in between tests. So like I said, we test all the components that we have, our inverters, our batteries, our connectors, our cabling, all of our accessories all go through uh, different types of stress tests to make sure that they can um, meet our reliability requirements in the field. So let's work our way to another piece of equipment, another test. So we have another test being run in here that's closed. I believe that's running damp heat. Here we have a chamber that's actually empty and open so we can get a feel for the size of the chamber. So, see, they're quite large. Um, you, you can basically do jumping jacks in there. And the reason why they're that big is because we're trying to get a lot of device hour testing. So lots of testing, lots of cycles, lots of devices, lots of time. Um, the more devices we can fit in a chamber, the more testing we can do. These chambers are actually so large that um, in order to be able to run temperature cycling tests at the speed we need, which is about two ramps a day, two cycles a day, we actually have to use an external liquid nitrogen tank to cool them fast enough. And when this whole block, when this entire lab is actually running tests, we typically go, have to refill that liquid nitrogen tank actually a few times a week uh, just to be able to cycle these chambers fast enough to run all of our testing. So let's work our way to another test. So like I said, we have a lot of equipment around here. Um, we, actually have, we actually have to redesign racks all the time to test different inverters as our inverters get to higher power levels. Actually, this rack right here, this is the rack that we built up to test our new IQ8D inverter, which is twice the power. So we actually have to basically invent new test equipment just to test our new devices that we have as they come. So over there, we have a thermal cycle test that's being run. Um, and on this, I think we can open this one up. Um, this is actually running another thermal cycling test on our new IQ8 inverter. So like I say, we really fill up this chamber. We test a lot of inverters, um, and this allows us to get a lot of device hours of testing before we even go into production. So th these are actually testing the new IQ8 inverter that we're about to release. Um, with the number of devices we have in here, we've actually done, uh, I believe, over 3.8 million hours of total device hour testing on the IQ8 family of inverters, over 1.8 million hours on the new IQ8 PV before we release it. So we do a lot of testing both before and during production of a product to make sure not only was it designed to be reliable, but also that it remains reliable in the field. And that is basically the um, extent of this one long-term reliability lab. We actually have a few at this company all striving to try to make sure that our inverters are built to be the most robust inverters in the field.